All right, in this video, we're going to look at the warm up for lesson three, four, day two. So, just like in the previous warm ups, please make sure that you've already watched the video, make sure that you've already attempted this warm up on your own. If you haven't done those two things, please do that first because watching this video is going to do you no good unless you've taken notes on the video and practiced this on your own just to see if you can do this correctly. But otherwise, if you've done those things, awesome. Let's look at what answers you should have gotten for lesson three, four, day two. So let me open up the answer key here. Here we go. Whoop. All right, so the first one, you should have gotten the remainder would be 55. Now, how do you do that? Remember, the remainder theorem means that you're going to put whatever the zero is for what we're dividing by and put that into the function and see if you get zero as your answer. If you get um, zero as your answer, then it is a factor. Or, it, or if, if you get zero as your answer, then um, it's a factor. Or you see that there's no remainder. Same thing. So for this problem, the 0 of x plus 2 is negative 2. So when you put negative 2 into that original function, please, when you're typing this in or when you're doing this on your own, go ahead and just type all of that in your calculator all at once. Don't, don't break that up into different individual steps. That's where people get make mistakes. However, you must use parentheses when you have a negative number. So it's really important that you include these parentheses. If you don't, you're going to get the answer wrong. All right. So when you plug that in your calculator, you get 55 as your answer. So if you were to divide um, that polynomial by x plus 2, you would get a remainder of 55. So it does not divide evenly. All right, let's look at number 2. Determine if x plus 9 is a factor of the polynomial. And so the same idea. We're going to put the 0 in. So in this case, the 0 would be negative 9. Because if you set x plus 9 equal to 0 and solve it, we get negative 9. And so to see if this is a factor, if it's a factor, you will get a remainder of 0. So if it's a factor, we're going to put negative 9 in here. Again, make sure that you use parentheses. If you do that correctly, we get 0 as our answer. And so since we get 0 as our answer, that means that it divides evenly. So it is a factor of that original polynomial. So now we're going to figure out if, so if it is, you're going to write this as a polynomial as a product of two factors. If not, explain how you know. So just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. For example, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, there's no remainder. So if I wanted to rewrite this as a product of two factors, I could say that 24 is equal to 6 times 4. Or we could even write it like this. So here's what we just found. We just found that when we divide, if we were to divide this polynomial by x plus 9, x plus 9 would be a factor of it. So that means that this would be the same as x plus 9 times whatever we would get when we divide these two. So that's what they mean by writing it as a product of two factors. So you've got to figure out what is that piece. So we're going to divide that polynomial again by x plus 9. And one of the ways we could do that is by using synthetic division. So the 0 again was negative 9. And so the coefficients would be 1, 11, 15, and negative 27. So you can see the process that I did here. And remember, what this means there is since we get an answer of 0, that sure enough, that's what we were, knew before. We knew this already that we should get a remainder of 0. If we didn't get a remainder of 0, well, that tells us that we made a mistake somewhere in our synthetic division or in our answer for the previous step. But here we got 0 as our answer, so it confirms what we found in the previous step. So this negative 3 here, that's going to stay a negative 3, but here we would have an x, and here we'd have an x squared. So we would have x plus 9 times x squared plus 2x minus 3 is how we would write this as a product of two, uh, or two factors. So hopefully that made sense, and hopefully you got that as your answer. And uh, maybe you got this as an answer. You just didn't know how to write it as a product of two factors, but hopefully that makes sense to you now. So good luck as you work on your assignment.